Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We got another nice evening here, at least. It's like 13 degrees Celsius, so 55 ish Fahrenheit. And with the little bit of light we do have left, we're going to do another chain comparison. So, this is a more controversial one, I guess, on sharpening methods. Uh, let me bring you in closer here. So we're going to be running this chain, which I just touched it up once. And as you can see, all the teeth are pretty even across the board. And then this is our other chain, same Oregon chain, but I took some teeth. So we got longer ones. I made that one a little shorter, made that one quite a bit shorter and just just mismatched it so they're not even sharpened evenly there's a short one on the other side so according to a bunch of people this should cut crooked but we will see so we got a so we got this new organ we'll run first with one sharpen on it and then we got this used organ and i just cut down a bunch of teeth so let's get the echo fired up. We will warm it up a little bit. And I think we got a few logs to play with. So we got a softer willow that we're sitting on. Maybe we'll do a few cookies off that. And then we got uh, a nice spruce right there. So we'll, we'll cut a few off the spruce too. I'm gonna use the mini to hold it so that'll be easy enough. So without further ado, where's my tripod? Let's get this echo fired up. Where did I put my tripod?
Beautiful. That's cutting nice. So the echoes take the same as a still. Three quarter inch scrunch. Don't lose your bar nuts. They're not captured. All right. So there's our fresh, evenly sharpened chain. That's cutting nice. And we'll throw on our uneven chain. And we'll see if it cuts crooked. It should. In theory. These echoes like to loosen up. Just a touch, I find. So you make them a snitch tighter. I think it's just the cover style plastic. All right, that should work. Let's give this a shot. All right, so uneven chain. Well, there we have it guys, it's cutting straight. We got a straight shot there. There's no curves on those. And it's all cutting pretty nice. So I almost think my uneven chain was cutting quicker the times will be in the video so I guess you guys will know but I'll know when I edit it all right guys so what do I take away from this and the advice I give you is don't get yourself bent out of shape trying to keep each tooth exactly the same uh, as it's not really important what my brother taught me and what I've always done was sharpen each tooth till it's sharp. And then you'll want to set your rakers. So the gauge I use is this Oregon. So it sits, it sits on the tooth in front of it and behind it. And it sets the gauge. So if you set each your gauge to the tooth in front and behind, you'll always get a straight cut. And the biggest reason, we'll let this train go by. I'm gonna pop this cover off too. I'll show you again. So yeah, the biggest reason a, a chainsaw will cut crooked is yeah, if, 
one side is dull or something but then you got a dull chain so it should be sharpened anyways uh, if your rakers aren't set set correctly is another factor to a crooked cut or the biggest reason I find with saws that I get in that are cut and crooked because I do repairs and stuff is problems with the bar so a bar is two rails and the chain rides in between obviously so to set that there so you can buy bar dressing tools wherever you get tools Amazon your local dealer and that'll keep these rails flat it's just a flat file basically you want to keep these rails flat with each other if not your chain so if you don't your chain will rock more to one side and then it's going to want to cut into that way and the other reason if your bar rails look even is inside you want to take a thin screwdriver or something and get to the bottom of the rail so if you get in the bottom you just want to keep that rail clean every time you're switching a chain if you get too much buildup in there I find this echo is pretty bad with buildup you get too much buildup in there and then now your chain will be riding let's get this on here so if you get too much buildup in there now your chain will be riding too high and then it'll it'll lean more to one side causing an uneven bar rail symptom so and that'll cut crooked too so more often than not it's not your teeth being uneven if you have a sharp chain and your rakers are set correctly then you should be looking at your bar for a reason why it's cut cutting crooked most of the time it'll just be full of gunk clean it out and you're good to go I think I'm gonna put my crooked chain back on because it's cutting good or I shouldn't say crooked my uneven chain all right yeah so I hope some of you found this helpful if you have any questions don't be afraid to leave them in the comments if I don't know my brother will know that's who I learned how to sharpen a chain from and I think I'm getting pretty good at it so I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button down here somewhere I think Maybe you can check out these videos up in this corner. We got a lot of saw content, sawmill content, a lot more farming content coming your way as the weather is getting nice in a hurry. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.